Hi everybody, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these. These are spell packets and they are the physical representation of spells in most of the LARPs that you will encounter. They're really simple to make, but there's no videos of them on how to, of how to make them on YouTube, so I figured I might as well. They're basically just birdsy, rubber band, and cloth. For mine, I used just an old pillowcase. Um, the supplies that you're going to need are going to be, of course, your cloth. Um, really think any sturdy will do. Um, <coughs> you want something that when it hits people or if it gets stepped on, because they're going to get stepped on, it won't bust open. So, got to be nice and sturdy. Um, going to need your birdseed. I prefer birdseed that is designed for smaller birds like cardinals or whatever, you know, just little tiny things. Uh, pick out uh, things like sunflower seeds, uh, any larger sharp pieces that may be in there because those will bust your packet and you don't want that. You know, you want your packets to last for a long time. Uh, another thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors to cut out your cloth. A knife in case whatever you're using uh, has seams and you want to make them just so they lay flat like I had to cut the seams on mine because it was a pillowcase. So you're also going to need something to measure out your bird seed. Um, this is what I use. It's just the lid to an old hairspray bottle or something that my mom had. Um, general assumption, I'm not too sure of an exact measurement would be maybe two tablespoons, something along those lines. Again, the um, exact measurement of your, sorry, of your bird seed doesn't have to be a specific, oh, it has to be two tablespoons. It, it's really a personal preference thing on how big you want your packets. Like, see, this one is bigger than that one. Well, you can't really tell it, but this one has less bird seed in it than that one. Um a straight edge is really going to help you out. This will help you mass produce them unless you want to sit there with a ruler and go over it when you could have like five feet of steel helping you out. Um, a permanent marker uh, to help you draw out your, your lines just to keep it nice and orderly. Um, for your squares, it sorry if I get kind of off track on things, uh, Your the size of your squares is another thing that's kind of personal preference like your uh, birdseed amounts. Uh, again, the two kind of correlate. If you have a bigger square, you're going to need more birdseed. Um, mine are tend to be 5x5. Five five. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be kind of about the same size. Because, as you can see, the tail, which is this part, well, that's what I call them, is just kind of flays up and doesn't really important. So. I mean, you can even cut it off to make it even if you want it to. Okay, how I make mine is take a cloth, and once you have it, also it'll lay flat. Um, a good tip is if it won't lay flat or wrinkled up, because it's wrinkled up and been folded for a while or whatever, go iron it. It really helps. Lay it on a wide, flat surface. I used my ping pong table put some newspaper down so that my sharpie didn't bleed through. Use your straight edge and after you've figured out how much size you want to want, uh, just draw a grid. Um, as you can see, kind of on my uh, straight edge, I've marked every five inches just to kind of help me keep it organized. And hopefully, once you have it all done, you'll have a nice clean grid and it'll be pretty consistent. Um, if your marker kind of came up at points, you know, it's fine. You're just going to cut it out. Um, a good way to kind of mass produce them is once you have it, have your grid drawn out, cut it out into long strips of one squares, of one square, and then just go back and cut each individual one out. Sorry if I kind of get long-winded on this, but... Oh, um, sorry if I didn't mention this earlier, but um, there's a few ways that you can uh, bind your spell packets together. 
Uh, I've seen someone say that they used thread on theirs and bound it up tight. I use rubber bands. These are just the little thin ones. You can get them at Office Depot in a big bag like this for a few bucks. Uh, I use one or two depending on how much bird seed I've put in there. Okay, once you have your individual cloth, what you want to do is take your bird seed and fill up your measuring device. Whatever. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be completely rounded off, but it really helps. I'm going to adjust my camera here for a second so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, take your bird seed and in the cup, take your square and lay it so that it's kind of in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then pull it tight down on it, just like that. And don't worry, you're going to get your shot glass back or whatever. Flip it over. It's like that, kind of create. You can kind of see the tail starting there. And pull out your fuck. Pull out your thing so that you have all the bird seed there. And then just pull it tight. Kind of creating the uh, packet itself inside your hand. If you can feel any bird seeds in the tail or whatever, just kind of use your fingers and smooth them down. And then take one of your rubber bands, push it down onto the tail, keeping everything as tight as you can. If you can't, there's a way to go back behind yourself and fix it. And just wrap it tight as many times as you can. You really want the bird seed to be as tight as it possibly can, and you're probably going to get bird seed uh, 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 well, all over the place. <laughs> Sorry if it creates a bit of a mess. Hopefully my mom doesn't see this and get mad at me because I had to clean my room today. But just make sure that everything is tight. Uh, to tighten down your bird seed, just take the tail and pull them, and pull them out like that and it'll force the rubber band down onto the uh, bird seed. And of course it'll kind of loosen up some things. If you can see, I've got bird seed all over my desk now. But and there you have it. It's uh, really quick. Once you have all your grid, easy to make. Um, just make sure that you have somewhere that you can easily get bird seed. You know, keep your bird seed dry and you can give whatever spare you have, just toss it out in the yard and let the birdies enjoy it. Alright, um, once again, my name is Andrew, and I'm signing out. Peace.